Police Commissioner Ian Stewart has been reappointed for another term in the top job. Despite criticism from within his ranks and the union, the Premier says the Commissioner is the man to lead the police service, especially through the Commonwealth Games. Still... Commissioner Stewart briefed Cabinet on priority security matters on the Gold Coast this morning. By the afternoon it was official. He'd be keeping his job for another three and a half years. Commissioner Ian Stewart has been reappointed as our police commissioner. Mr Stewart had previously written to the Premier asking to stay on. She's decided it's a good idea. In the lead up to the Commonwealth Games, I think it's incredibly important that we have a clear sense of stability for our state and also in this heightened era of uh, counter-terrorism. I am sure that there are lots of other people out there um, who could probably do the job. But um, I'm very grateful that the government put in place a, a process. Despite a campaign within police ranks for a change of guard and an outspoken union, the government says it makes sense he'd be returned. The people of Queensland are in safe hands. So I'd like to commend the Commissioner for his leadership to date. He was first appointed in 2012. And I want to congratulate you, Ian, Thank uh, you, for, uh, for uh, winning this, this race. A year earlier, he'd coordinated disaster management teams during Cyclone Yazi and the floods, but now has an even bigger role, making sure the Commonwealth Games run smoothly. The main driver for me is that we have the Commonwealth Games almost on our doorstep. Uh, they will be here in the blink of an eye. Queensland Police has been assisting New South Wales in the wake of the alleged terror plot and even sent our staff interstate. Cabinet was told the alleged syndicate does not have links to Queensland. We've got to make sure that whatever's occurring in our patch that we're working with the other jurisdictions to keep people safe. While the national terror threat level remains at probable, there are no specific threats towards the Games. Security briefings and strategies will be ramped up as the April events approaches. The Premier and her ministers have a host of announcements this week as they govern from the Gold Coast. Josh Bavis, ABC News.